In this video, I'm going to show how to pattern more than one feature in one command. If we look at our tree, I've got an extrude that has two fillets or rounds that have been placed upon it. If I want to pattern both of those, I select both of them in the tree. And under my model tab, I, under editing, I select the pattern drop down. And you'll notice that pattern is grayed out. It's not available to us. So I'm going to select geometry pattern. And it's asking me to select a direction. I'm going to pick this edge right here for my first direction. Now, I don't want it to go that way. So if I want it to flip, I pick this little arrow right here and I flip my direction. It's asking me to, how many do I want in the distance between them. I'm going to change this to 15 and to number three. So I'll have three instances. And then for my second direction, I'm going to pick right here, pick this edge. And two is fine. I'll change this to 20. And we see a preview of what that's going to look like. I'm just going to hit my green check mark to accept. And I've patterned the feature and all the, and everything that I wanted to pattern. The second way to do this, I'm going to actually delete this pattern now. Delete pattern. This time, if I want to actually use the pattern versus the geometry pattern, I'm going to select the two features that I want. I'm going to right click and I should have the option to group these. I pick group and it takes those two items and makes a group out of them. Now that those are selected under pattern, you'll notice that pattern is now available. I select pattern same thing for dimension. Actually, I'm going to pick direction. I'm going to pick this direction here. I want to flip. I don't want to go that way. I'll change this to 4. Change this to 12. I'm going to put my second direction here. I'll change this to 3. And 15. See my preview? Hit my green check mark to accept and I have patterned that group. 